Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Jay, and welcome to our channel. So for today, we will discuss Triangle Angle Bisector Theorem, or this is TABT. What is this TABT? If a segment bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into two segments, proportional to the other two sides. So let's have this illustration para mas maintindihan po ninyo. In triangle ABC, if BD bisects angle B, ibig sabihin meron tayong angle bisector na, na dinidivide niya isang angle into two congruent parts. Okay, that is angle B. And then, meron tayong, uh, it divides AC into two segments. That is AD and CD or DC. And these segments are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle that is AB and PC. Then, AD over DC is equal to AB over BC. Again po, so AD over DC is equal to AB over BC. Or pwede rin pang ito, CD over DA is equal to CB over BA. So, ito yung mga proportions na pwedeng gamitin po natin. Let's have another one. In triangle WXY, if XZ by 6 angle X, and then it divides WY into two segments, that is WZ and ZY. And these segments are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. That is WX and XY. Then, WZ over ZY is equal to WX over XY. Or pwede rin po ito, YZ over ZW is equal to YX over XW. So, ito yung mga proportions na pwede natin gamitin. Let's have another one. In triangle DEF, if EG bisects angle E, and it divides DF into two segments, and these segments, uh, DG and EF, uh, GF, are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle, DE and EF. Then, DG over FG is equal to DE over EF. Ayan. Or, pwedeng FG over GD is equal to FE over ED. So, again, yan yung mga proportions na pwede natin gamitin. So, that is all about TABT. So, let's have an example. In a triangle WXY, XZ bisects angle X, find S. So, para kunin natin yung value ng S, kailangan alamin muna natin yung side ng WZ. Since ang WY ay 40 and ZY is 25, XY is S, XW is 18. So, hanapin muna natin sa WZ. So, ang WZ natin dyan, since ang WY ay 40, to 25 si ZY, so minus lang po natin, 40 minus 25, para makuha si WZ, which is 15. So, pwede natin masolve ng value ng S. So, WZ, ito, over ZY, is equal to WX over XY. And then, by substitution, ang WZ natin ay 15. And then, ang ZY natin ay 25 is equal to WX is 18. And then, XY is S. And then, pwedeng simplify ito, yung 15 over 25, para mapalit po yung ating fractions. Or, um, may lowest, yung lowest term natin yung fraction. Then, we have 3 over 5 is equal to 18 over S. And then, using cross multiplication property, we have 3 times S, that is 3S, is equal to 18 times 5, that is 90. 
And then using MPE or simply divide both sides of the equation by, five, by 3, S now is equal to 30. So the value of S is equal to 30. Example number 2, in a triangle ABC, BD bisects angle B, find X. So kailangan muna natin alamin po yung segment AD. Okay, so ito yung given, AB is 9, BC is 6, CD is X, and then AC is 10. So, para makuha si AD, kailangan subtract natin yung 10 minus X para makuha si AD. So, ayan po, yung AD natin is 10 minus X. Then, CD, ito po, CD over DA is equal to CB over BA. And then, by substitution, we have X over 10 minus X is equal to CB is 6, and then BA is 9. So we have 6 over 9. And then cross multiplication, 9 times X, that is 9X, is equal to 6 times 10, 6 times the quantity 10, 10 minus X. Then simplify natin ito. Okay, so we have 9X is equal to 6 times 10, that is 60, minus 6X. And then using addition property of equality, we have 9x plus 6x, or transpose po yung negative 6x to left side, is equal to 60. Then simplify, 9x times uh, 9x plus 6x, that is 15x, is equal to 60. Then divide both sides of the equation by 15, x now is equal to 4. So the value of x is equal to 4. Let's have another example. In a triangle DEF, EG bisects angle E, find X. So, gagawin natin dyan, FG, FG over GD is equal to FE over ED. Okay? And by substitution, we have 14 minus X over X is equal to 15 over 10. Next, by cross multiplication, using cross multiplication, 15 times x, that is 15x, is equal to 10 times the quantity 14 minus x. And then simplify natin ito. We have 15x is equal to 10 times 14, that is 140, minus 10x. Then using addition property of equality, we have now 15x plus 10x is equal to 140. Simplify this. This is 25x is equal to 140. And then divide both sides of the equation by 25. x now is equal to 140 over 25 or this is x is equal to 28 over 5. So the value of x is 28 over 5. Let's have another example. In a triangle PQR, QT bisects angle Q, find X and the length of PT and TS. So again, gagamitin kong proportions I, PT over TS is equal to PQ over QS. And then by substitution, we have now 2X plus 1 over X plus 2 is equal to 14 over 10. Or, Pwede natin simplify yung 14 over 10, that is 7 over 5. Okay? And then, by, uh, using cross multiplication, we have 5 times the quantity 2x plus 1 is equal to 7 times the quantity x plus 2. Simplify natin yan, we have 10x plus 5 is equal to 7x plus 14. Right? And then, uh, combining like terms, or you, by using... Uh, Subtraction property of equality, we have 10x minus 7x, or i-transpose nyo lang yung 7x po dito to left side, and then yung 5 po dito, transpose nyo lang po to right side. So we have this one, 10x minus 7x is equal to 14 minus 5. And then 10x minus 7x, that is 3x, is equal to 14 minus 5, that is equal to 9. So x now is equal to 3. Okay? 
Since nakuha na natin yung value ng x, pwede na natin kunin yung length ngayon ng pt at saka ts. So, pt muna. Since pt is 2x plus 1, nandito po yun. Okay, so by substitution or substitute the value of x which is 3. So, we have 2 times 3 plus 1. And pt now is equal to 7. So, the length of pt is 7 units. And then ts. ts is equal to x plus 2. Substitute the value of x, which is 3. So we have 3 plus 2, and then ts now is equal to 5. So the length of ts is 5 units. So if you have any questions for clarifications, just type your questions po sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.